Good morning. We are coming into Rubal. Check out how beautiful this place is. Let's go have a look. Rubal has active volcanoes. That looks like a volcano right there. Look at that. It's unreal. See the crater inside of it? It's amazing. Let's go see what's on the other side of the boat. Nicole's still in bed too, by the way. She's not feeling too well. This side looks pretty too. Looks like we've got the pilot boat down here, bringing us into port. involved in World War II from memory with the Japanese. Um, yes, there's definitely a lot of history. I'll see if I can do some research and let you guys know about it. Let's go back and have a look at this volcano again. So amazing. It's just one of those things that you're only going to see maybe once in a lifetime. So I was just looking at some images when the volcano was erupting and wow, if you were coming into port at that time, that would have been an amazing sight. I'll put some images on the screen now for you. So imagine standing here when that volcano erupted. That would be a once in a lifetime sight. You would never forget that. So the captain said that we might have some scattered showers today and by the looks of it, they might not be too far away. So I'm gonna head back down to our room and see how Nicole's feeling. Come down to have a little bit of breakfast. Nicole's feeling a little better. What do you think? Breakfast of champions? Yep. Yeah? How you feeling? A little bit better. Yeah? Yeah. Diabetes playing up a little bit. Yeah. Rough day. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think it's because we had a big day yesterday, hey? Yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully we feel a bit better throughout the day. We're probably not going to get off the boat today. Um, Nicole's going to save her energy 
for when we get to Conflict Islands, but we can still take in the beauty of all the mountains. It's still gonna be a good day, hey doll? Yep. All right, well, let's eat this breakfast, and then we can get on with our day. So after breakfast, Nicole's feeling a little better, hey? Yeah. Yeah, so we thought we'd get off the boat, have a walk around. We probably won't do too much, just in case Nicole starts to feel unwell again. But hopefully we can see some nice things, hey? Yeah, I didn't want to miss it. Yeah, we'll hop off for a little bit. and The weather's a bit nicer. Very overcast. Yeah, overcast. Not as hot as Alatau, that's for sure. So Definitely not. Should be a nice day. Sometimes you forget how big the ship is until you get off and then you see it. They're massive and I don't even think this is a big one. I think there's way bigger ones than this one. stuff hey doll yeah. so we just picked up some turtles look at these cute little necklaces got them for the kids yep made a couple of donations it's been a good day it has gotten warmer though hasn't it yeah yeah a lot warmer, so we're going to head back to the ship now. Today is a crew safety drill. They've all got their life jackets on. They're all practicing for an emergency. They've even dropped a uh, life raft over the side here. It's all pretty cool to see. It's nice to know that they're keeping their safety protocols up. Awesome. They just dropped a lifeboat at our window as a part of their practice drills. I wonder if they're going to launch it. There's another one out there. That boat that we just saw at our window is now going for a little spin in the harbour. No leaks. <laughs> Don't say that, darling. We're on a boat. Yeah, but that's the rescue one if this one goes down. Oh no. Quick touch wood. <laughs> so I was having a look at the newsletter that the captain gives us every morning and he's put a little spiel in there about Rabal, so I'll read it out to you. It says today's port of call is all about volcanoes. Rabal is located above unstable tectonic plates causing it to frequently experience earthquakes, tsunamis, and volcanic eruptions. Surrounded by a number of volcanoes, including Kumbayu, the mother, Toyambatu, and Turanguna, north and south daughters, and Mount Turuvaru, Matupi Crater. Well, I hope I said all those right. The former capital of East New Britain is a town with a colourful history and no stranger to rebuilding itself from the ground up. It's been destroyed by, by volcano eruptions in 1937 and 1994, as well as being all but flattened by aerial bombardment in World War II. Its kilometres of underground tunnels were built by the Japanese during its occupation in World War II and are a testament to its wartime past. Since 1994, Rabaul has returned to life and its harbour is still one of the most impressive in the entire Pacific Basin. Well, they're not wrong. That's gorgeous, Look how beautiful it is, hey? Yeah. Like, it just looks so tranquil, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. It's beautiful. Imagine if that volcano just erupted right now. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a sight? Oh, 
Well, as you can see behind us, it's now night time. After that last clip, we went back to our room for what was meant to be a half an hour nap. <laughs> Turned into a few hours. Yeah, later. about three or four hours later. But I think the heat just knocks you around yeah. a little bit, makes you really tired. And plus, it was really drizzly today, so it was quite easy to jump under the covers and have a bit of a snooze. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we were looking out into the distance there, and we could see this red glow. Now, we're not too sure if it's a fire or lava. I think it's lava. Yeah, I yeah. hope it is. Uh, we're going to leave port at about 9pm, so we're hoping that we can get a bit closer and we can actually see what it is. Yeah. But it's about 7 o'clock now. Uh, we've got res reservations at <laughs> Angelo's, uh, which is an Italian restaurant. I'll be having the lasagna. Lasagna too. Yeah, you're yeah. going for that? Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to head off to dinner now and then we'll uh, check out this fire or lava in a minute. So we thought just before dinner, we popped into the arcade. Nicole saw one ready for the grab and you think it's ready, hey? Oh, I don't know. You can never tell when you're ready. You sound defeated. Uh, defeated? <laughs> Come yeah. on, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, good spot. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh. You're joking. That's so mean. You going to have another go? Of you think course. It, it, you left it in a good spot. Okay, one more go. Let's go again. I reckon you're going to get it this time. Alright, let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, grab, grab. <gasps> Three you drop. That's really mean. Oh no. I honestly thought you were going to get it that time. Yeah. Well, I changed my mind. I had meatballs. <laughs> yeah, I still love the lasagna. Yeah, still really nice though. So it's about 8.30 now and hopefully we leave port in about half an hour. We can check out this red glow. I'm still hanging to see what it is. Now I know it's a bit hard for you guys to see, but look out in the distance there. That has been smouldering all day and when I zoom in on it, it almost looks like lava. Or a massive fire, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that could be lava. What do you guys think? I think it's lava. You think it's lava? Yeah. yeah. Wow, if it is, that is awesome. And this is what the mainland looks like at night. I think it's a bit more civilized than Alatau, hey? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, a lot more houses, a lot more people. Yeah. I guess if you had to live in PNG or on the islands, this might be one you'd consider, I think. Yeah, I think so. Beautiful scenery. So we're leaving the dock now. What do you think, lava or fire? Lava. All right. Hopefully we can get a good shot of it. the white party the Blanco white party but it's starting to rain pretty heavily everyone's ducking for cover found some cover doll <laughs> under the water slide thought we'd check out these boats on the way out they look like trawlers hey yeah. and I think that was definitely lava that we saw yeah yeah Definitely lava. Yes, you're right, darling. Definitely lava, which is so cool to see in person. The camera didn't quite pick it up very well, but definitely lava. It was amazing. So we just thought we'd come back to the room to wrap up this vlog. Got really wet up there. I think you can probably tell it's still on my glasses. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We're going to sail through the night. Tomorrow's a sea day. And then we hit Conflict Island, so... That should be nice and exciting, hey? Yeah, excited for that one. Yeah, do a bit of snorkeling and a bit of swimming. But we hope you guys enjoyed this one and we'll catch you on the next one.